Hey, Paul Evans here, and today we're going to be talking about fish. Not the ones swimming around in the sea. Fish surfboards, what are they? What are they for? Let's find out. Don't forget, as ever, to subscribe to the Akiwatu channel down there and get all these videos as they drop. Okay, so what are we talking about when we talk about fish? First of all, a little bit of history. Fish have been around since like the late 60s. It's the design it comes from Southern California, San Diego area. It's actually a kneeboarder by the name of Steve Liss came up with this design. Now, he was a kneeboarder. He actually had a snap longboard. So imagine uh, half a longboard. And that's basically where the fish outline started. So what we're talking is a board that's short, that's really, really wide, pretty flat overall, and goes really fast. Okay, so I've got a board right here. This one is from Aquatic Social Scene, AQSS Surfboards. This one's called The Flying Fish. And it's got a few little kind of modern tweaks on that classic design. People can get a bit sniffy about what exactly a fish is, but broadly speaking in surf terms, we're talking about a board that's really short, pretty wide, will have a pretty wide tail, and generally speaking, but not exclusively, is for smaller waves. So we're talking plenty of width, for the length, which gives us fairly straight-ish kind of rails for a short board, so fairly wide throughout the whole thing. And that gives you a load of planing area. So if you think about a sort of spear-like surfboard, a board for big waves that's long and narrow, that's for controlling speed, the speed provided by the waves. This is the sort of polar opposite. We're talking short, really wide, and this is for generating its own speed. So all that planing area, that width, particularly right through the tail. That's going to give you a ton of speed. Tell us where on this one, the flying fish. I mean, you'll generally find various takes on the fish name in our surfboard names. This one's called the flying fish. And again, that is sort of suggesting that you're going to get a ton of speed through this. Part of that speed, we talked about the width already, but that is, of course, the flatness. So not a lot of entry rocker in the nose, pretty beaky nose. Obviously, you're going to surf this thing pretty short, so you do need a bit of volume up there. And pretty flat throughout. And again, very little rock up through the tail. Okay, let's chat tail, because that's kind of the important part, and particularly fins as well. This one, as I said, it's the flying fish from AQSS. This is kind of a modern take on that fish. If you're talking about that real kind of purist definition of a fish, you'd have twin keel set up. You might have seen those wooden fins that are really wide right out on the edge of the board. That's your, that's your classic traditional fish. Modern takes, what do we like? We like to have a bit of choice and a few options. That's what we've got with this one, the flying fish from AQSS. So five boxes on here. Set that as a thruster if you want. Bung in a normal set of fins and you've sort of fish-ized a regular thruster set up. You can throw in a great set of twin fins, split keels. So a ton of options there. Do check out the range of fins on Akiwatu, something for everyone. But keeping your options open in terms of fin setup, put something to give you a ton of speed like those keels, that twin or even that split keel setup as a quad will be perfect for this type of board. So generally speaking, we're talking really short, really wide, a load of foam, no rocker really at all up in the nose, pretty flat and great for summer days. Now one of the advantages of a fish Apart from just giving you a really different sensation and all that speed, if it is a summer's day, there's a spot that crew surf near here. It's quite a long walk in, 20 minutes or so. If it's small summer, you could go lugging in your longboard, your mouth, give yourself a bad back, or grab yourself a fish. Fits sweetly under the arm. Goes in your car pretty easy too. So logistically, a little bit simpler for attacking those summer days. Okay, this particular one here is a 5.8 by 22 that's coming in about 39 liter so you, you know your literage is your friend you will want that volume people surf these right down even towards sort of five four five twos isn't particularly extreme for this type of board something that's sort of relatively new recently is the sort of bigger fish that used to be sniffed that a little bit kind of scoffed at but they've sort of proven their worth um, so maybe if you're not like super accomplished or super experienced as a surfer, but you want to get that fishy sensation, you can go up into that six foot, even up there in your six fours and stuff like that. You'll find this fish design and that's going to work really well for you too, if that's what you want to try out. Okay, it's going to wrap up. Hopefully, if you're wondering 
what's the fish, what's it all about? I've explained a few things there. We're talking short, we're talking wide, we're talking pretty flat, usually with a twin setup, sometimes with a quad. It's generally speaking, a board for smaller days, but not exclusively. And it's all about the speed when it comes to fish. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Do subscribe to the Aki Wacky channel down here and get all these videos as they drop.